Hey guys, happy Thursday, happy Thursday. I'm having me an outing today. I decided to get out the house for lunch today. Look like it's gonna rain. Seems like every time I decide to get out the house, look like it's gonna rain. But I'm in Zags, I'm gonna order me a little order of hot wings. I'm in the line right now for lunch. Might go to the park or down to the Shelby Farms or something and sit in the car and eat or do something like that for lunch. So how y'all doing today? What's going on with you? How everything going? Everything's going pretty good for me. I'm blessed. I can't complain. Throw my little hat on today, y'all. Got my hair put in a ponytail, but since I got this hat on, I can't take this, take it off because it's probably all frizzy everywhere now. Anyway, what's been going on with you today? I've been at home working. Uh, and I'm kind of just ready to, for a break. Ready to eat. Get me something real quick. Of course, I had some in there, and I thought about getting up, making a wrap, and taking it. But I'm like, you know what? I gotta taste some this and how You know, it ain't nothing. It's always, always can get some hot wings. Now, the Zags has always got a line wrapped, especially at lunch and dinner. Because it's in, since I done pulled up, it's four cars behind me now. And I ain't no telling how many in front, but they move pretty quick once you order. You know, you get up to the window scene like they have your little stuff ready. So I guess they got them a routine going on here. I guess. Yeah, I cut my finger pretty bad earlier today opening up a box. They had delivered a box and I saw. And I don't know how I managed. I cut it with some scissors. So I don't even know how I managed to do that. Anyway, do y'all like fried pickles? I see they got fried pickles on there. I don't like fried pickles. Oh, the person in front of me getting out of the line. They got the Zaxation salad back, which I had the other day, the Sensation salad. That's the Asian salad. It's good. I like it. But y'all, that salad is about 800. I'm on 900 calories. So, you know, that if you want to eat, you know, you, you ain't going gonna to have to eat something light when you get it. I want another one. You know, it got the little egg roll with it, but I'm going to have to leave the Sensation where it's at if I'm going to get the wings. You know what I'm saying? I wonder why they ask you if you want the celery. Like it's some commodity. Maybe some people don't eat celery. I don't know. Who knows? I don't roll this one down. It looks like it's gonna get the rain coming. I'm going to the lake or to the to the Shelby Farms. Oh man, it's kind of coming down, kind of. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it raining where y'all at? Shoot. What kind of freaking neck of bull is this? Okay. Whatever now. Do y'all have a Zaxby's where y'all at? Y'all know something I hadn't tried and we was going to try it. I seen somebody eating this. I don't know who I saw eating this the other day. That might have been um Diaz World. I don't know who it was. Anyway, somebody was eating canes. Anyway, I saw somebody eating it. And I've never eaten at canes. But I was going to get some. We were in New Orleans and we ended up getting something else because my dog had found this nacho restaurant. Let me order y'all. Uh, yes. Uh, let me get the 10 piece traditional wings uh, in the uh, tongue tarched. And do you have a side salad? Yes, ma'am. Would you like the celery seed for the 10 wings? Yes, please. And can I get a side salad as well with the blue cheese dressing? And can I get a large cup of water? Today. That's all, thank you. A large water, a side salad, blue cheese dressing, and a traditional wing steak. I'm sorry, 10 traditional wing combo. Yes. Celery. Yes. 1764. Okay, thank you. You, you know what? Texas is as high as all our doors. Even if I didn't want those celery sticks to eat, I would take them and cut them up in something. Because they just kind of expensive. What the, what in the world? Seventeen dollars, Jesus, Louisless. My goodness, it's a treat. Ugh. How you doing today? I did. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I like their little aprons up in here. Hmm. Let me pause, y'all. See. Not that it was all that much cheaper, right? But 
let me tell y'all what they had charged me. This is the size water I got, which I don't have a problem paying for the water, right? Because you're really paying for the cup. You know, cups ain't that much either. But, ooh, this got crowded up here. I got to maneuver my way through the parking lot. All these people want Zambies. Anyway, they charged me $2.49, right? I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. When I got the receipt, right? I'm like, wait a minute now. You know, I'm going to have to show y'all because y'all need to be watching. Cause uh, And I'm like, wait a minute, the water, water? Tap water? Because you know it ain't no bottle water. Look at that, y'all. The receipt. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm saying. With $2.49. So they had to call the manager. He going to give you money back because they did and they questioning the girl like I charged her. Yeah, you got to pay for the drink. I said, no, ma'am, I get this. It's 99 cents. So he gave me back my dollar fifty. you know. But I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So y'all, you know, I'm nice and all, but I don't have no dollar fifty just to be giving Zabby. Zabby don't need my dollar fifty. They don't, look, they don't need donations from me. They food is high enough. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's, that's enough of my jaw jabbing and crapping and whining. I got my money back, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me, I'll get back with y'all when I stop. Okay, y'all, come on so I can get over here to the park. These cars are coming, y'all. They coming. Look like I'm about to get a break. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I've been wanting to try this Coastal Fish Company. Is anybody living, living here in Memphis and tried it? I'm uh, over here at the park, y'all, getting ready to go down here. It's in the park. Ooh. There's a lot of cars out here, y'all. I guess these people over here for the lunch. Well, they all up in my way. I'm coming just to chillax and chillax and look out here by the little lakey lake. The little lakey lake. I wish I could get a closer park. Oh, I can't even see good from here. But anyway, y'all, this is where I'm going to park and just sit here and eat. Y'all see the water? I saw Yaki Snacky out there walking by the water the other day, so I'm going to be in a copycat. I thought it would be peaceful to be down here by the little lake. Anyway, I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me raise y'all up so y'all can see the water out there. It's go back pretty far. There's a lot of people over there in the restaurant. Anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all. Hold on one second. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, y'all. Anyway, y'all, we gonna do. I don't know if y'all wanna hang with me or not. This might be some boring, y'all. But anyway, let me do some some of this hand sanitizer right here. Yeah. I'm gonna do a couple of uh on my little lunch break here. Yeah. I'm gonna do a um a little bit of this little hand sanitizer here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say my grace, y'all. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. Uh, drive my house hunting, and I'll let y'all see it, going to see the house in daytime. I'm not going to eat this salad right now. I'll say this for dinner. But that's how the salad look, y'all, a little side salad. And it's got look like cucumbers or the salad mix in there and some tomatoes. They done do on there. Anyway. I'm going to eat this high price celery. Can you believe? Are y'all kidding me? And then they didn't even give me my celery. This don't even make no sense. They act like celery is some kind of a... I don't know what's going on. You can't get your celery? This is a crash. Now, I don't want to go back and complain. I already had to ask for my money back. Poor Jesus is on the main line. Zag, we charge too much for this now. Tell him what you want. But anyway, have a win, y'all. 
me my salad for dinner. Mmm. So, yeah. I'm gonna... That restaurant look pretty quiet on the inside. I know it looks like I got no social distance because it's fucking like a pack. But I don't know because I'm not in there, so let me just quit. I don't want to start nothing. If don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. That's something I hadn't done in years. I would love to do again. Is ride a bike. But you gotta have good knees for a bike riding. There ain't no bike riding with no hurt knee. That's for darn sure. One of my coworkers, I could make him a man what I wanted. She was telling me. She had went to Piccadilly. And I thought about going up there, but I really didn't want no Piccadilly. The only thing I wanted, because she said she had mentioned it, was that carrot souffle. Y'all like that carrot souffle? A hey, Piccadilly. I like it. Since y'all been working from home, most of the time, I just take a break and do what I'm going to do with that. Because, you know, I don't go out to eat at lunch at work, so. <sighs> do y'all try to get out for your lunch break and do something? You know. Go and just to get out of the house. Well, I originally had passed the exit, y'all, for this. You're supposed to get off on Walmart Grove, and I didn't. But, y'all, sometimes when uh, traffic's not heavy, now when traffic's heavy, I don't really like it. But I really enjoy driving. It's peaceful. And just looking at the scenery. I think one day next week while I'm on vacation... I'm just going to do that. Take me a little minute turnaround road trip. Come back. I think the most place I'll stop probably is somewhere to eat. Do the drive through or somewhere. And uh, probably uh, what am I going to do? Go to one of the pilots or somewhere like that. One of the gas stations. I don't want to shop that much. And really ain't nothing I need. But it's a belt in Mississippi I might ride to. Just to go. Look. I have a couple of wants on the desk. And I actually get my vacation club on the fifth, on the third, on my birthday. I wish I'm likely gonna roll over to the um, next year, but I am gonna take some and use it for my birthday. Y'all know what I was watching. I was watching, um, look like you can get a closer view to the lake down there, but I don't know how you get over there. I think you got to drive in from the other side of the park over there. Somebody out here on a little catamaran look like. Mm-hmm. Out here on this little lake. With the coronavirus, y'all, going on. What have you missed most about, you know, 
that you would normally do in the summertime. That you just, you know, ain't even trying to do. I think my biggest thing is going to garage sales. I think that's what I've missed. That was a bad bite. The most. But I have seen some people do some novel things. Like, a lot of people are. I've seen this on YouTube. Like doing the backyard, backyard um, movie theater stuff. And putting those, they like their blow up theater things in there. Almost like the jump, jumble trunk, you know, the blow up, blow up like the bouncy house things. But they're movie screens. They've been putting them in their backyard, you know, and having on. Uh, uh, these wings are good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, they real good. I'm real hungry. I don't know what you what. They're good to me, anyway. Well, they are. <coughs> they ought to be. They cost the door now. Anyway, well, sure, they've been putting those movie theaters in the back. In the back of their houses, they're having movie night. All of the movie stuff. I guess that would be nice. For kids, especially, it's probably kind of like going to the drive-in, sitting outside. Y'all yeah, remember that movie, um, Wedding Planner? Where Jennifer Lopez and Matthew McConaughey, and they had this movie night thing where... They would show these old movies in the park. I wonder do they actually have that in some of the cities. I don't know how feasible it would be to do it now, but still, that seemed like that would be fun. Do they have something like that in your city? Now, do y'all even know what I'm talking about? Mmm. I kiss these wings. Mm -hmm. Honey, run some for me too. Well, see here. I would never go running no way. But I do miss being able to walk a couple of miles. You know, without the pain. I have to show y'all. I can't when I get to eat these wings. But I uh, I was at work, right? And I said, I was at work, right? And I didn't know. So it must have happened. I guess after wear and tear. But I have two of these anyway. Well, I'm going to take this one in the house. And the one in the house. I'm gonna put it in the car to use when I'm out. But I, um, what I'm trying to say, I, um, the rub part came off of my hand yesterday where it wore out. And so I went to put the train down. I don't want to fail, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. If I ain't got a mess going on here. That's the only thing about eating something like this in the car. It's messy. 
But I done made a way. You see it? I ain't, it ain't stopped us. No kind of show. I'll let y'all see the two houses. Well, I see y'all. I probably told y'all that already. Then I'm going to drive by. When I get done eating. Yeah, but I almost fell. So I'm sure I'll probably order me another one from Amazon. Mm. I know that Amazon resources have been stretched. What's the pandemic? But man, they've gotten sorry since this stuff has happened. There's a, you know, a lot of stuff they doing that. They were doing so much better beforehand. I don't know if the drivers done got frustrated with all the work, extra work that's being put on them or what. It's gone, Donna. It's gone. Let it go. Let it go. Let me get a swig of water, y'all. Oh, I hate I forgot to bring my floss sticks with me. I eat this salad like I said for dinner. Later on, you can have to have me some meat. Plenty of meat. It equates to five wings, but that's still a lot. You know what I'm saying? Let me wash my hands once again. Once again. I know y'all don't want to be on the ride with me when I'm jaw jabbing and stuff. So, I will... Uh, when I get to each house, I'll pull out the camera. Now, we ain't getting out the car now, because you know, but these houses, I think one of them is still occupied. The other one don't look like it's occupied from the uh, thing I saw online. But anyway, y'all, hear McCain right. Now, I jiggle rigged it, you know. Jigged it up a little bit and put this tape and stuff, but that didn't even work because it still was slipping yesterday. Like, you know, see, that's the thing. And I got two of these that I ordered, so. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna bag on up from here because since I'm through eating, done, rather. And we're gonna go over to the first house and have a look, you know, because we try to do all this on lunch hour now, so, you know, we making it we rolling on through. I'll be back with y'all when I get to the first house. Okay, y'all. This is house number one. It's really not far from where I live now, but I'm going to tell you the location I'm not feeling. The street seems to be quiet. It seems like a lovely little home. And the pictures online are really nice. Give me y'all opinion. What do y'all think? But I don't want to waste my time going to see this house if I... I'm not really feeling the neighborhood. It will be interesting to ride over here at night as well. But it's on a cul-de-sac, by the way. So, you know. But look and see, this is the house across the street. And the un yard is unkept. I don't know, like I'm going to be a big yard master. But I don't even know if anybody lives in there. Because it just seems like it's overgrown over there. So, I don't know. Anyway, when y'all are looking, do y'all go to the neighborhoods in the daytime? And a night, but again, you see, these are the few houses that surround it, and then it's this house. And you see how neat and, and nice this house is. Someone actually lives here now, you know. So, but anyway, and it goes around back, it doesn't have a garage, but it goes around back there. Anyway, let me turn around and I'll give y'all a nice little view of the street. Y'all know what I realized that I hadn't been doing since I, um, I'm just giving y'all a view of the little street back here now and this is the house with all the garbage out here which ain't nothing wrong if they cleaning their house out you know that's the house right next door to this house and you know the garbage men just have to pick up so this is the street seems like a quiet street just 
you know, from being over here during the daytime, but I don't know. I'm not looking for anything big, y'all, because it's just me. I don't need a, a, a John Mungus home. I just need enough for little old me. Anyway, y'all give me your thoughts. Yeah, y'all. I just came back for a minute. Wait. What y'all know about that Dr. Dre? That's back in my younger days, my teenage years. Y'all know what? But I, like I was saying, uh, I'm just sitting here at the light now looking around the neighborhood. But anyway, um, I don't have on music and I realize that's something I listen to almost every day I went into work. And even when I go into work now, I noticed that I hadn't been really turning my radio on so i'm gonna get back to start listening to music so y'all get into mood we start to turn on you some music get you some praise and worship music on or get you some jams on some old jams then get some new jams do some of the new kids dances just get around and dance around the house and act good because you know what music really does change your mood hold up wait oh mm -mm, me ain't talking about that now all right <laughs> y'all a quick oh i'm sorry let me give y'all a quick overview of this street it's also on cul-de-sac it's one two three four five and this is the house that's for sale right here y'all oh I, I know this mirror is all in the way well i'm about to live here let me just go on up in here this house empty is all outdoors so i'm gonna politely drive right on up in here Okay, guys, this is house number two. And, yeah, this is on a smaller cul-de-sac as well. That's the neighbor's house next door. It looks like about six houses on the street, like I counted a few minutes ago. So, yeah, um, what are y'all thoughts on this house? Of course, I'm over here in the daytime. I love their porch swing and their... I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see if I can get a closer view. They got some uh, porch swings and rocking chairs out on their porch. Of course, you know this house over here don't have no room for that. But, you know, I just thought I would show y'all if y'all could see it. You know, what the house looks like. Whoever here, I guess they got their camper there right now. I guess they'll move it should you buy the home. Anyway, the yards kept up quite nice. And the neighbors over here seems to be keeping their yards well. Y'all, look at God. This last house I went to, the one I just showed y'all, I just met this realtor. I don't really have a realtor I'm working with right now. You know, I just call and ask the people, can I look at the houses when I see something I like online? I didn't call on either one of these. And um, it's so funny. I met her and she was just so personal. I happened to back back and look out because it was a house, a car park there. And I'm like, and I, so I just rolled the window down. I said, hey, how you doing? Y'all know I talk to a lamppost. You know? <laughs> I say, are you a realtor? And she's like, yeah, I'm a realtor. So we got to really talking and everything. And uh, she's really, uh, really pleasurable to meet and talk to. So I think that um, I will use her. Just her attitude alone. You know, she got out of the car. We both put on our mask. And she got out of the car and uh, we talked. So that's what I was doing. But y'all let me know what y'all thoughts on that. That house really doesn't have what I want because I want two bathrooms. Which every house I'm looking at had two bathrooms, but I really want a garage. But I can deal with a carport. It's just me. As long as I can park in my space. And um, but I really need a house with a walk-in shower on one of the bathrooms. And I really want just to, you know, I don't mind about the other one. So we're gonna see what we can do anyway because i don't want to go into a house doing a whole lot of work and having to figure out where i'm gonna get the funds from to be working on the house anyway all right you know i'm silly but i love this little song right here when it, i remember when it came out pay me what you owe me <laughs> y'all okay forgive me y'all <laughs> well y'all i'm pulling up back at home now thank y'all for joining me it's the end of my lunch time shenanigans it's time for me to go back in here and get back to work mm -hmm. anyway thank y'all for coming and visiting with me and joining me and riding with me eating with me and watching houses with me let me know what y'all think 
Hope y'all have a wonderful day. I want you to know you're loved. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember, always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. Bye.